Hey guys, Target Cyclone FPV, getting ready to work on an RMA here. <clears throat> and this one is, I don't really know much about this. It just kind of appeared on my desk and it says, hey, um, three motors don't spin. Uh, I think it just said, hey, we just got it and three motors don't spin. So, so I'm not really sure what's happening with this. Um, but let's check it out. So it says three motors don't spin. So we're going to automatically just get ready to plug this in. And we're going to fire it up. And we're going to see what the heck is going on. Now, we're also going to take uh, the ESC or the um, board and plug it into Betaflight, and I'll share that screen with you here in just a second. So let's go that way. Let me get the mouse working here, and I'll get you guys squared up to be able to look at the screen. <sighs> Let me open Betaflight. Here we go. Whoops, not that. That's wrong. Here we go. All right, so here it is. Boom. Got Betaflight going. We're in COM3. I have not turned it on yet. I just want to see what I'm working with. Uh, let's reset here. Let's calibrate. Let's go to our ports. Okay. Let's go to our configuration. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's... Now, I do see two motors. I could tell just by looking. Two motors uh, took just then and moved with the ESC uh, initializing. All right. I'm going to... Hold this down and just watch the prop spin. Okay. Let's try motor one. We've got ticking, motor two. Ticking. Uh, wait, motor two. Motor three. Spins. Motor four. All right, so I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna take this off real quickly because there's a couple things that do bother me about this and I wanna look ahead of time and see. Um, let, me get my, let me get my old man goggles going here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to focus on the drone real quick and we're gonna focus on the old man goggles and we're gonna focus, I'm trying to focus. So let's see what we got. Right now I want to look at make sure that there's no winding issues and there are the windings are broken I can see it right here and I'm going to try to get the uh, thing to show you as well and I'll be honest with you it is it resembles what happens when somebody uses too long of a screw because the windings are broken right where the screws touch. Okay, so let me grab this. And again, I mean, if this is what it looks like, I'm gonna grab this microscope. I'm gonna see if I can get it to focus on this. So let me switch over here, close this. Let me switch over. I don't need the uh, USB plugged in. So I'm going to open the camera up here and I'm going to share with you the computer screen and then I'm going to go do like this here. Uh, oh, uh, let me see. Give me one second. Let's try this first. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try to show you what I'm seeing. Okay. Let's see if that's going to be possible. Now it's, it's, this thing is so zoomed in that any slight movement looks like I'm having a huge earthquake here. So bear with me. I've got to try to see if I can get this to show you. God, man, this is not going to be easy. Okay, see right there? If you look right there on that coil, right, you can see the indention that's made. And if I was to raise this up, you see the screw right there. You see how that lines up? And I know this screw has been moved because it's got, hold on, there we go. 
I need to take these glasses off. I can't see. Let's try this again. There. Oh, much better. Okay. So I know, let me focus. Sorry, guys, that it's dancing all over the place. This is not the easiest. But let me just see if I can get this focused. All right. Oh, I see what's what's wrong is that I've got my directions backwards. God darn. So up was left and all that. All right. Now, I don't have an excuse if I can't. There we go. Okay. So we can see that there's an indention. There's a hit right here. Okay. I'm going to try to get you an underneath shot of that. Here, let's try this angle. So, there, that's the angle I want you to see. See that spot right there? So if I can hold this here, which I probably can't because anything's moving all over the place, if you take the mouse, and if you can look, I don't know if I guess I can't, uh, there. So if you look where the mouse is pointing, right here, this is where the strike is, right? So this screw, it didn't have to be this one, but this one's got a lot of debris on it. But it looks like a, a longer one went in and hit right here, okay? So that's one, but it didn't separate it, all right? It didn't, it didn't, didn't separate it, it dented it. Now we're gonna check the rest though because I'm pretty sure I saw the separation on the rest of them. So let me see what this one is. This is the same motor, by the way. So I'm not gonna find as much on these, but I am gonna just try to see if it's consistent. And I'm just getting out of focus. Again, guys, I know this is a pain in the butt, but if you'll just hang in there with me, I will do my best to. Okay, so there's our stuff here. And there's a screw right there. Let's see what we got. There's a screw. And there, again, we have something here. See that right there? Now, again, I'm trying to figure out what's happening here, but let's go to a motor that we know. Oh, heck, we'll just try it. Let's go to motor four. Okay, let's see what we got. What is all this crap on the screws? I don't know. Okay, so we have, we're going to look here. I have to put the magnifying glasses back on because that's hard for me to. This thing's moving all over the place, so it's hard for me to see. But, let me look around. Okay, right here. Um, I've got to find the separation, too. All right, let me put these goggles back on real quick. Sorry, guys. Give me one second, because I also want to be able to point out to you some things, just, just to kind of help you guys as you go along with this. All right. So we have here, let's see if I can get this on camera, right here, we have broken, okay? Uh, where the wire is broken, uh, I'll see if I can get a, well, if you watch the screen, try to hold this in place, or maybe not. Wonderful. All right. Okay, so there's one issue right there. See what I can see in here. This one I do need this microscope for. What is all that job? So there's our screw right there. There's more damage right here. Okay, and what we can see, if I can just hold this still. Look, watch the mouse here, right here. There's a screw. Here's the area of contact where the taller screen must have hit. I'm trying to hold it still. Okay, so we have it again right here. Go to the next motor. And I'm gonna look around just for a second. So bear with me. Right here, I believe. We have another issue, let me see. Right there, we have another issue. 
and it's right, right there above the screw. Again, where it would have come into contact, uh, the discoloration on there, and let me check again here on this side. Let's see what we get if we get anything. Let me put my glasses back on. Goggles, or whatever you call these things, magnifying goggles. Okay, I think you'll see something here as well. Looks like I can see it, but I want to see if the magnifier will pick it up. And again, if I take the motors out, it's easier to see, but I just don't want to feel, I don't feel like disconnecting anything right now. So. But this may turn out to be a useless video because it's very hard to uh, keep this photo right there. Okay, so you can see right here again, the issues. Okay, and that is indicative of a screw going too high up and touching. And then we'll go to here. And let's see what we see on one. Again, I'll change the glasses real quick. I gotta put the magnifiers back on, darn it. I don't think I see anything on there. Let me see. Right there. Right there. Okay. So we've got that happening there. Same thing here. See that? That's mashed. I mean, that's what happens when the screw, and you see the screw right below it. So the screws is what did this. All right, that's enough of that. Okay, so here's what we got, guys. Look, here's the deal. The way these motors work, okay? When you screw the screw in, you use, these come with two different size screws, right? So usually somebody will take it and without knowing, and it's not the person's fault, and they may not even know they did it, all right? They may know they did it afterwards, not know they were doing it during the beginning. I don't see anybody would do it on purpose. Um, but whether or not they know that it was because of something they did, that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is, is that the motors, once you send a screw into that motor and you hit those coils and you break them, bend them, press them against each other, you'll create heat, you'll ground them out. And ground them out meaning you'll create heat, basically. Um, and at the same time, <clears throat> if you break that, you break the coil, the motor's not going to be able to spin properly at all. And you're going to get exactly this ticking that you're seeing here. So, um, unfortunately, again, uh, I hate to say it, but there's no warranty on this as far as our, our side is concerned. We'll send it to HGLRC for the final decision, but on our end, I can't do anything about it. Okay, uh, guys, I, uh, I, I'd like to give you some better news. Please, if you have any questions, always hit us up here uh, at our Facebook group. And then uh, follow us on Facebook, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and show us some support that way. I appreciate you all very much. God bless. Be safe. And as always, spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have. Right. And then the rest of the kids are going to hang out tonight. All right? So we'll see you later, guys. Peace.